local legend likes to work in silence. I'm about to jump on a ferry and then I've got to go up a mountain in four wheel drive just to meet him. And it's well worth the trip. He lives on the beautiful Hawkesbury River in New South Wales. Best place ever. You can have your castles, you can have your palaces. This is heaven, and I'm only looking at the scrap heap. Can't wait to see the sculptures. So my local hero's name is Chris Hartshorn, and everyone in the area knows him as Jangling Jack, and I'm ready to learn from the best. G'day, Chris. G'day, Jays. Now, I've got to say, I just love your controlled mess. I've got, to, I've got to know where everything is, so it's uh, it's in its little piles. Yeah, I've got me cylinders, I've got me scrap iron there, I've got me car parts there, so I know where everything is. That's that's the main thing. Mate, to me, this is beautiful, but I know you've got sculptures on site, so I'd love to have a look at them. Oh, please, I'd love to show you them. Lead the way, sir. Yeah, please follow me. Oh, you're a clever boy. How good are these? Yeah, some scrap art, mate. Are they like babies, or are you happy to see them to go to, to new homes? Oh, I love to make them, and I love to sell them. I've got to check this one out. The chain works. Oh, yeah. Wouldn't surprise if it kicked over. Yeah, well, it's good for rolling down hills. <laughs> Has it got brakes? <laughs> Not yet. <laughs> How long does something like this take to make? Oh, you know, there's a couple of weeks' work here. But beautiful farmyard scrap that I acquire from farms. Is it your most favourite sculpture? It is one of my favourite sculptures because uh, I love motorcycles. I have done all my life. I've done a lot of travelling on them. I taught my two kids how to ride. They're both national champions at uh, Moto Trials. Oh, so when you jump from rock to rock? Yeah, mate, that's rock hopping. Yep, I started them off at a young age and uh, in this environment Perfect. where we hang out. Yeah. Well, I've got to say, your imagination must be a bit loose, a bit out there. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, that's your party going nighttime festival sculpture light. Corrugated iron, you've just, is that oxide so it gets that rough edge? Yep. But how do you start? Like, what was the first thing you made? Well, I started making presents for people, little mobiles and things like that. And then I enjoyed it so much, I turned it into a trade, if you like, you know, a full-time artist. It's, it's important to have special things in the world still, isn't it? Instead of everything being the same, you know. So, mate, it's all well and good to be out here in the bush, but how do you sell the stuff? Well, I sell it in galleries, but uh, mostly now I sell it online. And the little pig, that actually looks doable. I reckon so too, man. You reckon... Uh, we give it a shot. got the afternoon and uh, you've got a keen apprentice. Here we go. I reckon, why not, eh? All right, I think we'll make a friend for that, eh? Yeah, let's go and find some bits, eh? All right, what do we need? Nuts and bolts? A few bits of scrap steel, maybe an air compressor and a uh, springy bit for his tail, a springy maybe. springy bit, is that a technical term? I think that's a technical term. All right, let's get busy. We picked a day for it. I'm glad we're in the workshop. Righto. We've started with an old compressor, and yes, it's pressurised, so you need to release the pressure first. We're going to clean it up with a the grinder. Then we're going to make all the other little pick parts out of scrap. A shovel makes great ears. Oink, oink. Springs are for the legs. Oh, OK, um, nice. Well, you just cut them all to match in size. Absolutely. So uh, we don't want it looking like a giraffe, so we are better <laughs> shorten it down. I don't think it's going to look like a giraffe. And the other big spring? And the other big spring, I'm thinking there, his little curly tail. <laughs> OK, we're ready to put it together. To get a good bond with the compressor, the paint's got to go. Then you can start welding. It looks a bit like Danny at the moment after she's had a big Sunday feed. Ooh. I'm a bit messy, aren't I? Looks good to me, mate. Oh, well, it's holding. I've welded it to the table. And what's this, mate? Like a lacquer? 
Yeah, this is a, a penetrol oil, which is really good for uh, sealing the art piece and uh, making it clean to touch. And also, I think it puts a nice shine on it. Yeah, beautiful shine. Yeah. What do you enjoy most about making these sorts of things? So most things seem to be mass produced. I just think it's really nice to be able to make a one-off piece of art these days uh, that, uh, you know, no two are the same. And something special about that, Jace, I think, well, this day and age. I couldn't agree more. <laughs>